welcome to dash cam with Derek. I had to, I had to pull over. I had, um, my camera just kept falling and, and I wasn't going to fight that it was making a noise. So anyway, so I had to pull over. I stopped. I'm in front of coach Massey's house and so I'm going to talk to you a little bit. And I want to talk to you about pain. We had, um, <clears throat> got the kids together Sunday evening. We were just discussing our meal plan for the week. And I'd ask the boys, you know, what do you want for, uh, for supper? throughout the week and brain immediately he knew what he wanted he said dad i want pork chops brussels sprouts squash and macaroni and cheese that is a good meal and of course we you know we wrote down quesadillas one night i was going to cook we're going to do chicken alfredo and uh and so so monday night rolls around and I get the pork chops ready, I get the Brussels sprouts ready and the squash ready, I cut the grill on and I throw my Brussels sprouts on one side of the grill, my squash on the other side of the grill and let me tell you, they were looking good, they were looking really good. Well, it's time to flip them, kind of stir them around a little bit. So as I was doing that, I burnt my finger. And I mean, I burned it about the size of a butter bean blister on my finger. Look, look matter of fact, let me see. See it? Look at that. So, it hurts. I mean, look, the squash was good, the Brussels sprouts was good, the pork chops were good, but my finger wasn't good. So after eating the meal, I kind of walked on over to Nurse Pearson. Walked in the house, I was like, look, what do I do, man? I burnt my finger, it hurts, my blister hurts. I was being a baby, I'm not gonna lie. She said, um, why don't you just get a cup of cold, a glass of ice water, just put your finger in. Genius. Who would have ever thought that when your finger's burning, put your finger in some cold water? But it works. I, I literally, I, I put that in there for an hour. And after that, no more pain. Derek, why don't you tell us about your finger that hurts? I want to tell you this. I thought about Galatians chapter 6. Paul says that on his body, he bears the marks of Jesus Christ. We often just kind of look at that as, hey, man, Paul's faith is willing to stand for Christ. And, man, that's exactly the way that our faith needs to be. And, and when we do that, we're going to have marks on our body. But I want us to look at it in this way. Paul is in pain. Whether it be physical, spiritual, emotional, that there are things in his life that caused him some, uh, some pain. Now, it was for Jesus. It's because of, because of his faith. But I think sometimes we forget that people are in pain, that Christians are in pain, non-Christians are in pain, and that pain is usually caused by either one, the faith that they have in this world, or the sin that's, that they've committed, or sin that other people have committed and they have burned themselves, or they burn themselves because of the faith they have in Christ. Well, I, I need us, including myself, to realize that there are people who are in pain and hurting and it's our responsibility to do something about it. You may be in that. You may be the one that has burned yourself on your own doing. You have, maybe you have a burn mark on you because of your faith in Christ. Maybe you have a burn mark because of somebody else and what they have done. And I'm sorry that you are having to uh, deal with that. But for those of us who have gone through a lot, it's our responsibility to help them. It's our responsibility to be sympathetic, to have passion, to have compassion for that individual, and to pray for them, but also to go and help them. Help carry the load that Paul talks about also in Galatians. To, to be willing to maybe bear that mark on your body because they need help carrying that and so 
you know, every time I had taken that finger out of that cup of water, it began to hurt. And I want to close by saying this. I would rather bear the mark, the burn mark, whether it is sin of mine or sin of somebody else. I would rather have to go through it with Christ and being immersed with him than have to do that all alone. I'd rather keep my finger in that cup of water with my family, with God's people, and deal with it like that than have to deal with it all alone and end up burning yourself even more. So let me just encourage you that if there's anybody that is just dealing with a lot of marks, burn marks, or just, man, just dealing with a lot of stuff, we're here for you. Give us a call. Reach out to us. Um, and it's our responsibility to reach out to you. We love you. I thought this past Sunday service went, went well. Uh, we had a lot of kids in our classes. Uh, they all wore masks. I want to encourage you to continue to wear your mask when you come into the auditorium. Uh, we just want to consider others and where they are in all of this. And um, looking forward to our core event that we have tonight. And there's Fellowship Hall. And so uh, things are kicking back. And, uh, but it does not mean that people aren't going through some stuff. And so um, we're praying for you. We love you and looking forward to seeing you. Descan.